the shady side of Bellathorn. Bellathorn is one of the select Disney stars who successfully pulled off a successful career transition from her kids' show, Shake It Up, to more mature there. She dazzles on the small screen as Hollywood starlet Paige Townsend on Freeform's Famous in Love, but her off-camera antics? That's what makes many cringe. While fans adore her awe and relatable personality, the actress has a tendency to take things too far. Maybe this is just a phase, or maybe she really gets a kick out of the publicity, be it good or bad. You decide as we examine this Disney alum's thorniest moments. The countless times she gave us to me. Social media allows us all to share bits and pieces of our everyday lives with our followers, but for celebrities, it's particularly challenging to walk the line between openness with fans and preserving some privacy. Thorne doesn't even try. She has no filter on social media. None. Zero. Snapcat followers got more than they bargained for when the blended star shared a picture of herself sitting on the throne. Another time, she documented her first bikini wax on Snapcat, telling the world on camera via glamour, Oh my god, this is gonna hurt so bad. Just when we thought we had seen it all, Thorne shocked us again by love tweeting her colonoscopy, a procedure that's commonly performed to diagnose his bowel diseases and cancers. Thorne prepared for her procedure by downing a gross liquid that kept her on the potty all day and she didn't stop recording and taking photos until the procedure was finished and she was recovering in her doctor's office. The actress never revealed why she needed the colonoscopy, so although we were rather annoyed by it hurt me, we were also pretty worried about her overall health. As of this writing, Thorne seems okay and is back to her usual, very revealing self. She dated her ex-boyfriend's buddy. We really thought Thorne had found her happily ever after when she met fellow Disney star Greg Sulkin. Sulkin once starred on Wizards of Waverly Place, and he and Thorne connected on Facebook. We guess that's one thing her social media accounts are good for. Before they became official, Thorne gushed about her new beau to us weekly, calling him one of the most amazing people she'd met. Thorne and Sunken were the epitome of sharp relationship girls for more than a year, but, alas, this is Hollywood. Why did we think this could last forever? They called it quits in August 2016, blaming conflicting schedules. In a joint statement, the exes said they would always love each other and have a deep respect for one another. Here's the rub. Is hooking up with your former Flames friend the true definition of respect? Just a month after the breakup, Thorne was spotted getting super cozy with Sulkin's pal, actor and musician Tyler Posey. Posey denied they were an item, even citing his friendship with Sulkin as a defense, but a month later, Posey and Thorne were smooching all over Hollywood. So much for Brocode. Did she cheat on Tyler Posey with Charlie Puth? Perhaps Karma came back to bite Posey because his relationship with Thorne allegedly turned into a messy love triangle involving fellow musician Charlie Puth. The details are a little convoluted, especially since there are four sides to this story. Thorns, Posies, Puths, and the truth, but we'll try to break it down for you. Before officially breaking up with Posey, Thorne was spotted getting snugly with Puth on a beach in Miami. Days after their beach date, Thorne posted a throwback photo on Twitter of herself and Posey embracing with the caption, taking a trip down memory lane. Once Puth saw the picture, he apparently had a complete meltdown and unleashed a series of cryptic tweets that seemed to out Thorne's two timing ways. In one tweet, Puth declared, No one should have their heart mess with like this, and I'm not going to be in the middle of it. Thorne finally addressed the alleged cheating scandal during an interview with Sirius Xum's The Jenny McCarthy Show. The actress claimed she wasn't even kissing Puth in the infamous beach picture, and she was right. It looks like the camera snapped them per kiss. Thorne said when she explained the situation to Posey, he was understanding. 
Thorn also said she tried calling Puth, but he wouldn't take her calls. Perhaps this whole situation was indeed a great big misunderstanding, but regardless, Thorn was widely cast as the villain who broke Puth's heart. She laughed at Charlie Puth's song. Following the public humiliation that was the whole Posey vs Puth fiasco, Thorn took a major dig at Puth and his song, We Don't Talk Anymore. The lyrics are all about a love gone sour and two people going their separate ways. It's one of those happy heartbreak tunes you play on repeat after getting your heart torn in two. At least that's what most people do. Thorne posted a Snapchat video of her listening to his song with a great big giggly grin on her face. She broke girl code. Hollywood is a small city, so it's no surprise that many stars run in the same circles. There's also about a million members of the Kaddish and Jenna family, so it's also not too shocking that Thorne became pretty good friends with Kylie and Kendall Jenner. That friendship apparently didn't stop the actress from jetting off to the Cannes Film Festival in May 2017 with Scott Disica at Nikodashan's baby daddy, the father of Kylie, and Kendall's niece and nephews. One might think someone like Disick would be off limits for Thorne, but it looks like whatever this Disney starlet does whatever she wants. Thorne was photographed getting really cosy and partying hard in the French Riviera with Disick, who's about 14 years older than her. The actress reportedly cut the trip short after Disick was spotted canoodling with other models, including his ex-girlfriend, Chloe Bartoli. Upon returning to the States, Thorne tweeted, Yo this sharp can, fancy life isn't for me. She later told the Jenny McCarthy show via Us Weekly, Scott is really nice, sweet, charming. I don't drink, and he really drinks a lot. I just wasn't down. She says there's a mystery, mean girl, after her. Thorne is pretty open when it comes to talking about most areas of her life, but one topic she skirted was Hollywood's alleged mean girl. According to Thorne, there's a starlet who has caused her nothing but headaches. In an interview with Seventeen magazine, Thorne addressed the anonymous villain by stating, I have a mean girl. She's in the business, and she's very, very mean. I stay away from her at all costs. I never say hello to her. Her siblings are not mean like she is. It's just her. One of the reasons I don't like her is because she's been a billionaire since she was very little and she's never had to work for anything in her life. Many assumed the mystery meanie was Kylie Jenner, but Thor nixed that theory. We would love for the actress to speak up and put the rumors to rest, but it seems she'd rather stay mum while taking shady jabs at her nemesis. She shaded YouTuber Pudiope. Thorne claims she's being tormented by a Hollywood mean girl, but some people think the only mean girl in town is Thorne. In 2015, Thorne and Sulkin presented the award for Male Choice website at the Teen Choice Awards. When Thorne was announcing the nominees, she didn't even attempt to correctly pronounce the name of YouTuber Felix Gilberg, a Swedish-based gamer known to his fans as Pudiope. Many thought Thorne was disrespectful to Gilberg when she said, Felix something, 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 you know what? Be here if you want to hear the rest of your name. Thorne's remarks attracted so much backlash online, she had no choice but to defend herself, tweeting that the jab was part of the script and simply a joke. She also said she had nothing but love for the YouTube gamer. She hooked up with her brother's ex-girlfriend. In August 2016, Thorne posted photos and videos on social media of her making out with a mystery brunette. When asked if the scandalous photos meant she was bisexual, Thorne simply tweeted, Yes. It was later revealed that the girl in Thorne's steamy photos was Bella Pendergast. The duo has reportedly been best friends since age 15, and get this, Pendergast is also Thorne's brother's ex-girlfriend. We can't speak for Thorne's bra, but we'd be pretty peeved if our sibling played on so hockey with our ex. 
she dissed all of her ex-boyfriends new girlfriends. When a relationship comes to an end, most people tend to pick up the pieces and quietly move on with their lives. Not Thorn. The actress essentially shaded all of her ex-boyfriends new girlfriends at the same time in 2015. In a since-deleted tweet via 17, Thorne said, If you are dating an ex of mine, there's a reason they are an ex. So good luck. But a much. She bashed Disney. You should never bite the hand that feeds you, but that's exactly what many believe Thorne did when she opened up about life as a Disney star. In an interview with J14, Thorne said acting alongside co-stars and A on the Disney series Shake It Up was anything but smooth sailing. Zendaya and I were put in a very unfortunate position where we were kind of forced to compete against each other, she said, which made the whole first season of the show just very awkward for us. Thankfully, the two stars reportedly sat down during the second season, put all their issues on the table, and had a good cry. Thorne said that was the moment they became best friends. We're glad these two patched things up because we can't stomach the thought of Jones, Thorne, and Rocky Blue, Zendaya, not being as chummy in real life as they appear on the show. That said, it probably wasn't a great idea to throw Disney under the bus. She talked about Sulkin's, um, package. Thorne really made the Twitterverse cringe when she attempted to defend Sulkin after alleged nude photos of him hit the internet. Sulkin's face did not appear in the pictures, but Thorne confirmed in a tweet that the private parts that did appear definitely did not belong to her ex. Haha, <laughs> I'm telling you this isn't Greg's sick, d asterisk asterisk k, she tweeted, and everyone in social medieval collectively clutched their pearls. Might we add, the former couple broke up in August 2016 and Thorne made the comment about his body in January 2017, which only adds to the awkwardness. So cringy. So Bella. Did she come between Chandler Parsons and Savannah Crisley? Thorne found herself labelled as the other woman who broke up basketball player Chandler Parsons and his rumoured girlfriend, reality star Savannah Crisley. It all went down when Crisley made an appearance on Access Hollywood Live via Us Weekly and ished about her new romance with Parsons. She said they had only known each other for a couple weeks, but she thought their friendship was the start of something good. Her dad, Todd Crisley of Crisley Knows Best, was reportedly less than happy about the entire situation and now we're convinced he, well, probably knew best. Just days after Savannah gushed about Parsons, Thorne posted photos of herself at Parsons' game and a photo of herself wearing his Memphis Grizzlies basketball jersey. The duo was later spotted making out in a Cancun, Mexico nightclub. In a since-deleted tweet via Hollywood Life, Savannah took a shot at Parsons and Thorne by saying, Nanny always said, if you lie down with dogs, you'll get up with fleas. Sharp proof. Did she make out with a girl to make Disick jealous? Thorne locking lips with a girl is nothing new, but she really opened up a can of worms when she posted Snapchat photos of herself making out with YouTube star Tana Nanny or there was once a time when Manuel and Thorne were allegedly beefing over Disick, but the ladies apparently decided to bury the hatchet and kiss and make up. Literally. When photos of the two women embracing hit the internet, they got some backlash from an unlikely source. Thorne's rumored hiccup pal, rapper Black Bitter. Black Bitter reportedly saw the pictures and dubbed both women irrelevant in a since-deleted tweet via Teen Vogue, but his comments spoke the proverbial bear. Manuel and Thorne went on the attack. Manuel tweeted, how irrelevant is it to you if a tweeting about it too? Thorne claimed in a tweet that he'd expressed interest in a threesome. Who knows how Disick felt about the whole thing? The one thing we do know. Thorne's love life is more entertaining than any Disney Channel show we've ever seen.